Hello, I'm Andrew Lissim, and welcome back to From the Depths, Allies Adrift. I'm here with Avak. Hello! And that turret looks ridiculous. Which turret? Your... You better not be talking about my glorious turret, which is honestly far, far too powerful for its own good. Yeah, like... Wasn't that going to be a little thing? Well, I mean, we had this discussion already. I tried to make things small and, and sensible, <laughs> and then my creativity teeth grasp, and it's like, no, 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 no. We need to build something enormous. It needs to be really expensive as well. The more expensive it is, the better it's going to work. That's how it. That's how it, life is. I'm fairly certain. Yes, definitely. And then I look down below at our tentative pole we have set up, and I worry. Wow. I mean, we probably should improve that, actually. We, that tiny... Yeah, we need to clad that entirely in metal, effectively. And shield projectors. <laughs> yes, and shield projectors. That also. Speaking of which, I might just go expand our engine room. Okay, that sounds like a plan. Whee! Why does this look like more of a... an oblong than it does a circle? I, have I forgotten how to make circles? I believe I have. Oh, this is so embarrassing. That used to be a skill of mine. Take it off the CV. Oh, no. No, I'll Cannot fix. make circles. I, I can fix. I think we'll fix. I hunt small xenos. I also fix circles. Uh, I can't expand this engine without ruining my lovely, lovely little corridor. Well. What have I done? The needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few. We could have a second redundant engine. Uh, yeah, sure. No, wait. No, that would be terrible. We need we need the engine to be huge. This could be the backup engine. We could have a huge separate engine. This one is not powerful enough. I love the way that you're trying to justify this. Like, <laughs> Please, don't make me destroy it, Alec. I love it so. It's beautiful. Okay, you can keep it. Yay. We'll have a backup engine at some point. Uh, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm in an ring. I'm umming and ahhing over something that has no real use to this design. This is, this is pretty much how it always starts. What is it? Well, I'm just playing around with the base of my turret. Literally the turret base. I can't decide on the design I want. Okay, well, that kind of looks nice. It menaces with spikes, and that's generally one of the uh, primary concerns that I have. I'm nothing if not dwarfy. See, I always build them with like slopes in mind to try and deflect shells, and it becomes kind of a little bit of an obsession to just make it as slopey as possible. See, that that does sound like it makes sense. In fact, it does make sense, <laughs> but it's you not can't have enough. slopes and spikes. That just yeah. doesn't work. It, it, it's, it's just wrong. One day, your spikes are going to get caught on a, like a shell, and the shell's going to detonate and destroy everything you ever loved. And you're going to regret that obsession. Nah. No, not really. No. <laughs> I can tell you right now, that's not going to happen. I'll Havoc just never start regrets. again. <laughs> no. Okay, right. Metal beams. Many, many metal beams. Um... This. Oh, I think this is going to look nice. Actually, they can be a different color. I'm actually going to have to watch your episode just to see what color my turret ends up with. <laughs> Hot pink. <laughs> you would do that to me, wouldn't you? Yes, yes, I would. Yes, why? Uh. Which reminds me, I'm building an engine down here, but there is actually something much more pressing that I need to build. Okay. Which is? Uh, give me a second. Suspense. Right, about here. Build mode. Do, 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 do. Okay, that looks okay. Uh, right, well, how am I going to armor this? I think I need much more armor on the top. Honestly, for something this powerful, it deserves more armor. I'm being 
far too conservative with my armor. This is not like me. I don't need to worry about resources. I need to remember this. We've got stupid resources. This is a pretty good point. The day that they fix that, because I'm, I'm certain it's a bug. I'm certain it's not meant to work this way. The day that that gets fixed, the day that most of my plans for the beginning of the game fail. Spectacularly. Because I won't remember that it's been fixed. And I'll be wondering why I've got no resources as strikes are bearing down upon me. Okay, I have fixed okay. the world. The world? Wow. Didn't even know you were trying to fix the world, but uh, all right, well done. There we go. The world is fixed, everyone. We can stop worrying about things. We can just go back to using greenhouse gases and all Pretty kinds much. of Pretty much. If you want to look things. up at the... Uh, up at the what? The radar dish. <laughs> 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 oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> Oh, that is amazing. Well played. It needed to be done. Let me grab my camera and get up there. Whoosh. That is wonderful. <laughs> Truly wonderful. <laughs> Deepwater Guard are going to know who defeated them. Oh, yes. And how are we doing for crystals? 541. Uh, okay, that's, that's not bad. Oh, I should expand the crystal farm. Yeah, now that we can actually afford to. Uh, engine or crystal farm? Engine. I should put it in the crystal farm. I think the crystal farm is going to be more immediately useful to us. Yeah, I might just put a horizontal one in and just extend it into infinity. You should never extend anything into infinity. It breaks the world. You only just fixed it. World.exe has had an exception that needs to close. Indeed. very hard to do things like arithmetic on infin infinite numbers. Um, let me know when I start running out of metal. Oh dear. Uh, no, we're going pretty good. It's going to be a while. Okay, because I'm just traveling uh, across the sea currently, putting down crystal blocks. You make me want to sing. Under the sea. Darling is better. Down where is wetter. Take it from me. Um, I have met uh, Undersea Mountain. I'm going to have to stop putting down crystal blocks. Your plans have been foiled by nature itself. Yes, damn it, nature. Although if this is hit by a shell, it is incredibly vulnerable. Although, it's like a walkway now. Yay. If you're a fancy a stroll under the sea. Generally not. If I'm under the sea, I, I'm usually trying to swim. Not when I finish pumping it out. <laughs> You're going to pump out the sea? <laughs> the entire sea. <laughs> well, if you enclose the entire sea in just one very large cube, and then you use an air pump. Right. Um, this has a maximum capacity of 5,000. All right, we are not going to need any metal for a while, then, it seems. <laughs> okay, I'm mostly just faffing around trying to color this thing. Oh, but God. I'm Starting to get somewhere now. Oh god, what? I had a mirror line down. <laughs> oh god. You're what did I do? With nothing. Oh, it's okay, it just hit the mountain and stopped. That would have been really funny. <laughs> the world has been deformed. Oh god. What? It actually did place it, it just placed it into the mountain. Well Under done. the mountain. You've now got an area of the of the world which is completely impervious to damage. Um, but I then deleted the bit that was attached to our fortress because it, it hadn't placed oh. it properly. And now the entire, like, kilometer length of crystal tray is jammed under our fortress glitching out. Yes, this could be a problem. Thankfully, I'm not down there to have to deal with it. So uh, um, I choose to laugh instead. I'm going to choose to ignore <laughs> it and hope it disappears. I'm sure it will after the respawn. I'm having trouble making this look nice. Um, have you tried proof. spikes? Well, yeah, that's the problem. I'm trying spikes, which is my go-to solution for making anything look good. And they're not working. This is the first time it's ever happened to me, I assure you. Actually, let's shrink that down. Ah, uh, I didn't shrink the cannon section. Why? 
I really wish you could connect to the bottom of a firing piece. I know. I mean, you, you basically... You turn it on its side. Yeah, you have to trick it into playing along. Yeah. Which is very, very frustrating. Right. More carburettors, more carburettors, more carburettors. Sounds like a nursery rhyme. This little carburettor went to market. Uh, what was it trying to buy? I mean, what does a carburettor want? Um, engine oil. Okay, that actually makes a little bit of sense. I'm still with you. Okay, continue with the song. Uh, this little fuel tank went to market. I, I don't know. I'm not an expert on fuel tank based uh, nursery rhymes. Maybe I should be. You disappoint me so. It's a, it's a personal flaw. I'm working on it. Oh god, there's so many fuel tanks to place. You did want, like, a million power, right? Um, I didn't specifically ask for that, but sure. Cool. Because I may have overspec things slightly. Cool, because you're getting it anyway, is what I hear just then. Pretty much. Well, we I look at our, our metal and go, we're not short of metal. I can build this larger. You're not wrong, technically. Okay, I think I've got something now that remotely resembles something good. Kind of. Okay. Maybe. I'm going to have a nice surprise when I pop up there and like see this amazing contraption. Hopefully. I wouldn't recommend banking on it, but hopefully, yes. Okay. Although that said, I might just take a second out of build mode to check the map. We're not being attacked, it's fine. Okay. Oh, that's good, because I hadn't even thought of that. Yeah, I try to remember as much as possible, because I'm like fully aware that I could be under the ground building, and then suddenly like shells will start plopping into the water. That's my fear. Yeah, I'm not actually sure about this. In, in retrospect, I'm, I'm not certain about the color. Damn it. You're not certain about the color, let's be honest. It's gonna look completely different on my end. So you might get it still. <laughs> That's true. But it doesn't satisfy me. I'm gonna have to stop playing with it though, because I've been playing with it for ages now and <laughs> shut up. I just realized, okay. <laughs> I, I didn't mean it like that. that. Was going. I didn't mean it like that. <sighs> My lord. Right. That'll do, I think. Have you noticed our power requirements, by the way? Uh, no. Oh, wow. <laughs> Six. Wow. That's actually. Wow, okay. Yeah. I approve. Yeah. Oops. I'm not sorry. I didn't expect it of you, honestly. I think that's fair. That's an extra 30,000 power. Okay. I think that is acceptable. You know what? I just want to test this gun out at least once. You can also oh. have a shield projector on the gun. That is a fantastic sound. Oh, I need to, I need to come up there and have the a listen. clinking of this as it moves around the gears and... I think I can oh, hear it from down here. What? I think I just heard it turn. I can't actually see how far away from the base I am, but I'm, I'm pretty far away. That was glorious. Oh, this thing sounds epic. Oh, dear. It's fire about a 45 degree angle. Still turning, apparently. Okay, fire! I think, is this bullet gonna leave the atmosphere? Oh, it's close. It's really close. How high did it go? I, I can't see, because apparently in multiplayer you don't get that information anymore, oh. like not far the distance or anything. But it was, it was getting to the point where I was seeing stars instead of clouds. <laughs> like our enemies will be. <laughs> I don't think they're going to see anything once this thing hits them. <laughs> There'll be nothing left to see. Okay, well, uh, you know, that, that works. Definitely, definitely a good, good thing. Yes. We've got up to 1,000 
uh, crystal now. That's glorious. Right, okay, time for the AI then. You want a local weapon controller. Finally, I'm actually doing something productive instead of, you know, just faffing around up there. So, uh, well, you know, it was productive faffing. <laughs> well played. Most people fail to say that word. They say another word. <laughs> There we are. Oh, we are dear. definitely going to need a failsafe on this, like crazy badly. Um, uh, yeah, I, I've started to uh, shy away from having both a target prioritization and aim point selection. Ooh, why? Because you just don't need it. And if you're trying to fit things in a small space, you just need the mainframe. And it'll generally do a fairly good job of picking something to attack. But with a cannon like this, I think it actually needs... Yeah. And we're not really short on space or crystal. No. Right. As per usual, attack anything with a crew or player or AI uh, or weapons. Uh, if it's got an engine, increase its priority. Just a little bit. Um... I'm just building everything on metal, by the way, already. Okay. I'm going to tell this not to care about speed, because generally, I, you know, if it's a fast-moving thing, I don't really want it to be aiming for it too much. I could give it a negative, but I don't want to exclude too many things. Well, yeah, I'll give it a tiny negative. Minus one on speed. Range, I don't think it matters. Set value per altitude, I think I'm going to give it a slight... No, I'm going to give it a neutral on al altitude, so it doesn't really care. It's more how fast it's moving and how far away it is that it cares about. And actually, I'm not even going to limit this range. I'm just going to see how it does. Yeah, I think your thing is basically going to murder anything regardless of range. Well, that would be nice. I, I've got to be honest. I would be happy with this. Right, now then. Why is my fill command not filling? Ooh. Are you angled in the right way? It's filling like part of the blocks. There we go. Good fill command. That is really weird. Multiplayer bug, I assume. Yeah. Oh, you're so tiresome. Phil! I'm sorry. Oh, not you, Avak. Right. This is a very large area. If it doesn't fill, I will be very disappointed. Yes. Right. Yes. Phil, my pretty. <laughs> Phil! Bye, my pretty! I went to the whole like length of making sure the bottom of the floor for the engine room is like metal. Right. Okay. And it's really reinforced. The roof's made of glass. <laughs> Which part is facing the enemy? Oh dear. I am not the cleverest builder. But it looks cool. Yes. That's all the matters, really. Yep. At least I keeps telling myself. Okay, well, I think our little nerd pole flag equipped radar. Oil rig thingama, we're just going to call it a thingama for now, is more or less heavily protected. I don't think we even need, need the cruise missiles, really. Probably not, but it'll be fun all the same. This is true. All I really need to do is to properly armor the uh, internals of this cannon so that nothing can get through. And put a shield projector on it. We have the power. Oh, actually, yeah. That is a good point. You did tell me to do that, and I do like to do it when I have the option to. So I'm going to quickly do that, and then we can probably look at wrapping up this episode, I would say. Yeah. Uh, we'll have a shield protect projector about the middle there, I think. I am looking at my turret, and unfortunately the middle is a four beam, and I don't want to break it, so I'm going to have an offset shield, and it's going to bug everyone's OCD. Well, I just got rid of the four beam and replaced it with three blocks oh, instead. Go, go on, then. Go on. You have to do it, you know, come on. You can't be lazy. No, I'm, I'm trying to this. save block count, man. Physics. No. no, physics would understand. Physics would understand. Physics wouldn't want you to, to, to betray your roots. Okay. And of course, reflect, full power. Is there any point in never having it not full power, really? I never put it at less than full power, no. I'll sometimes adjust the uh, distance that it is away from the cannon or, or what have you, but I'll never reduce the reflect power at all. I don't see there a being a point in having it if you're going to do that. Yeah. Pull that down to about 2.5. Then we can angle. Uh, not the azimuth, sorry. Elevation yeah. negative. Yeah. There we all go. For me. Done mine. 
probably a little bit wider as well. We can take this up to about. Mm. Yeah, that'll do. I could add more shields, but it'll do. I think we should shield the uh, the flag. I love your, your, your you've shielded just directly at the front. Mine has just got this huge shield hat on. Well, in theory, mine should be pointing towards the closest target, who's probably going to be the most. Threat. That's a good point. Whereas mine is just rotating around. Yeah. So uh, my one, uh, my one's a little bit more easily damaged because it's got the one spinner. So I'm, I'm kind of like, well, if it's going to get damaged, it's going to get damaged. Yeah. Um, let me just make sure that the Union Jack is safe. Very important. Yeah. I, you know, the Queen would never forgive us. No. Secret police are coming for us. My God, it takes a long time to travel up here. Yes, it does. I'm glad you think so as well. I thought I was just being lazy or impatient, but no, it actually does take a remarkably long time. Full power, of course. Um... <sighs> Anymore, I, I forgot. can't see the shield. Where are line? Oh, there you are. Good shield. Hello, shield. Oh, you're putting one on the Union Jack, are you? Yeah. Wonderful. Although I can't, I don't think I can get the full width of the Union Jack. More shields. Um, I don't know, I'll have to do. You can't not protect the Union Jack to the best of your ability. Again, the Queen would never forgive you. It's, you don't want to protect the Queen. It's mostly protected. <sighs> mostly. We're still Are not you really the any... sort of person that would that would be satisfied with mostly? Yeah, but we've got one nerd pole holding the entire thing in place. I think there are more pressing concerns. I... I... We have enough metal to make the entire nerd pole. We do. I can't argue with this logic. As much as I would like to, I cannot. We have 90,000 and climbing. That is actually quite impressive, to be fair. Now, one thing I want to do before we end the episode, I mean, we are close to ending the episode, right? Yes. Okay, so I'm just going to quickly be a horrific, horrific human being. Oh, dear. Yes. That doesn't sound like something good. Um, what are you doing? Nothing. I can't tell, and it frightens me. <laughs> and because I can... Not that it'll really help in any way, but I'm going to stick some rams on this. <laughs> Just in case they get close enough to bash them with a the turret. And it's not even on the turret. This is not just on the armor for the Oh, turret. okay. Yeah, um, I may have accidentally our resource collectors. You've added more. What? Really? I doubled it. Really? Yeah, I'm a, I'm a horrific human being. What can I say? <laughs> You've actually doubled them. So you, you probably have. You're building more. I can see you doing it. Shh. Go away. There's nothing going I, on here. I want to you. Oh, my Lord. Also, though, yes, I, I do like the idea of actually having rams on this. So, rams. It will properly menace with spikes now. Not just, not just fake spikes. Real spikes. You know what? I really want to put like a harpoon missile launcher to just like grab any enemy nearby and just drag them onto your spike. By all means, I'm not going to argue with this. I think that's a grand idea myself. Okay, I have quadrupled our resource collection. Why do you make me feel bad? <laughs> because I'm abusing the system. Uh, that said, we are turret, still made out of wood. My turret has a crown. Oh, I want to see this crown. It's got dark. Maybe you should put light on your turret. Oh, that's a good point. Inside I, the I wouldn't crown. want the enemy not to be able to see their impending doom. This is true. That would just not be very polite. It's like not introducing yourself to your to your enemy. Hello, my name is Inigo Montoya. You killed my father. Prepare to die. Um, yeah, okay. We'll go with that. Princess Pride reference? I know it's Princess Bride reference. Okay, just I, I was just worried for a second there. As you wish. Well played. Well played. All right, let me <sighs> up there because I messed up my spikes, and we can't be having messed up spikes. Don't mess up your spikes. We've got the outro to do, and you can't have messed up spikes for the outro. That is a very good point. They need to be beautiful. Indeed. There we are. Some black spikes on the front and the sides. 
and maybe also the back. Uh, no, no, that would be going too far. But some golden spikes on the top for the crown. I think this turret is very pretty now. Yes, they are very golden. They are. So, I also need to uh, yeah. work on the actual barrel of the of the gun, but that can be done in the next episode. Okay, so just I've just... spent this entire episode working on a cannon. Uh, a good cannon, though. Yeah, true. There we go. Oh. We'll have a salute. Does that help? What did you do? Put light on the top. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you did. <laughs> oh my goodness, okay. It makes the shield look pretty. It does. Oh my lord. Listen to it. That is the sound of progress, my friend. The sound of progress coming to destroy you. Indeed. Progress is coming. Anyway, Indeed. um... Progress. This has been From the Dads. Uh, if you enjoyed, please remember to like and subscribe and all that jazz. Go check out each other's perspective if you want to see how this ridiculous cannon came about. I suspect it's got something to do with this ridiculous thing underneath. Oh my god. I'm moving my camera down there to have a look right now. Oh. Oh wow. What did you do, Avok? This... Nothing. I didn't do anything wrong. I, it was good. Good stuff. I'm liking what you've done. Down oh, my lord. This crystal farm. <laughs> you've seen that. <laughs> I've finally seen this crystal farm. <laughs> I just oh traveled until I hit a mountain. I think I'm like, amazing. it says 5,000. And my suspicion is that since it's such an exact number, I may have hit the limit. I suspect you may have, yes. Yeah. I also suspect you're addicted to crystals. <gasps> well, what can I say? They, they get me going. I need crystals for my AI. That's true. All of them. All of the All crystals. Of the AIs. But yes, we're going to have to leave it there. I, I am very, very sad to say. Yeah. Anyway, until next time, stay shiny. Take care.